Lady Macbeth is a historical novel by Susan Fraser King. Published in 2008 by Crown, the book centers around the real 11th century monarchs as opposed to Shakespeare's dramatization in Macbeth. This modern retelling was well received by readers and critics for its fresh perspective on the title character. King is a best-selling historical fiction writer who holds a degree in medieval art history. Her historical romance novels are praised for lyrical writing and very strong storytelling. She writers under various pen names, including Susan King and Sarah Gabriel. The central character is Lady Gruid, or Rue. She's the last surviving female descendant of the most powerful and legitimate royal line in Scotland. As such, she's a very attractive prospect for kings and princes looking to further their political aspirations. Lady Macbeth tells the story of how marriage is used to build and secure influence, and the tragic consequences. Because Rue's heritage will secure power for whichever man she marries, she's vulnerable to kidnapping and ransom attempts. When she's only 13, she's kidnapped by Vikings who plan on marrying her in the north of Scotland, where the Vikings have strong territories. They believe this will advance their power and reduce the risk of the Celts attacking them. However, Rue's family have other ideas. Rue's father and her own guardsmen come to her rescue. They infiltrate the Viking settlement and take her home. She decides she doesn't want to marry anyone because it's poisonous and she wants to be a wise woman instead. However, her mother dies before she can complete Rue's healing training. Rue now knows there's only so long she can avoid marriage. Her own family wants more heirs, she doesn't have any other skills, and she won't retreat into religious celibacy. One day, she's introduced to Gil Comgan of Moray. He's busy trying to stop Macbeth, a rogue warrior, from attacking the court. Macbeth wants to avenge his father's murder. Rue's never met Macbeth before, but he claims he's the true heir to the throne. Rue dismisses his claims, as do most at court. Meanwhile, Gil Comgan falls in love with Rue and plans on marrying her. They move to Elgin after a brief betrothal and she accepts her life with him. However, their happiness is short-lived because the war for the throne is only beginning. King Malcolm plans on his son, Duncan, becoming the next king of Scotland. Macbeth wants to seize the throne first. When Gil Comgan is killed in an unrelated battle, Macbeth takes his opportunity to gain influence over the family, and he quickly marries Rue. Rue, of course, doesn't get any say in this. Macbeth isn't easy to live with at first. Rue tries to avoid him as much as she can, but she can't travel anywhere to get away from him. She's expected to serve as his wife and tries to make the best of it. The more time the couple spend together, the more she understands that he only wants to be a good king and stabilize a country divided by long-standing wars. It isn't long before Rue has a son, Luloc. Around this same time, Rue learns that Macbeth has an affair with one of his friends from court, Catriona. Rue's heartbroken, which surprises both her and Macbeth. This brings them closer together as a couple. She wants to fight for her family and helps Macbeth fend off invasions from other warrior clans and the ever-growing Viking threat. Although Macbeth can be abrasive and difficult, he's popular with the locals and rallies strong supporters around his family. When Malcolm dies and declares Duncan the new heir, a surprising number of men side with Macbeth, who worries that Duncan will be a callous and evil king. Macbeth's proven right when Duncan decides on his first job as the new king of Scotland, slaughtering any rivals to the throne. He and his army attack all warrior strongholds in the kingdom, including Macbeth's. Macbeth knows he can only defend his territory for so long and that he must march on the king. However, once Duncan learns that Macbeth plans on attacking his court, he turns devious. He decides to make a feigned peace offering to dissuade Macbeth's men from attacking him. When Duncan sends the family gifts, including wine, he makes sure all the goods are poisoned. He expects everyone to drink the wine and die. This will eliminate Macbeth and any heirs. However, the only person who dies is Rue's handmaid. This alerts everyone to possible poison and they don't touch the wine. War breaks out and Duncan is slaughtered. Macbeth drinks some of the poison wine and falls gravely ill. Rue doesn't know how to save him because she never finished her wise woman training, but Catriona helps him. The two women now reconcile. When Macbeth recovers, he's made King of Scotland through both success in battle and popularity. The people support him as a strong, fair, and reliable king. 
It takes many years before Duncan's heir returns to get revenge for his father's death. No one knows he's been hiding in England the whole time, waiting until he is old enough to take the throne for himself. However, no one supports Duncan's heir and he must retreat, ashamed. He later returns and murders Macbeth, but he still can't garner support. Instead, Rue's son, Lulok, is crowned king. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.